Uh, good morning. Uh, thank you to the Dragon organizers and all of the audience here. The topic of my talk is creating smooth surface model like this. Um, could you please pass this model to your neighbor? Okay, thank you. Uh, I want everyone here to have a chance to view it. Um, okay, uh, hi. Uh, sorry. Hi, I'm Yudorigawa from Osaka, Japan. I'm a maintainer of the following Julia packages, and this talk is about the last package, Elastic Surface Embedding to Gel. I like to create mathematical handicrafts, and that's one of my network. Okay, let's start with the overview of the project. Uh, there are four steps to create a smooth surface model. First, divide the target surface into strips, and second, uh, embed uh, curved, curved strips onto a flat plane. Step three, cut out the embedded strips from a flat material such as a paper. And the last class, step four, weave the strips together and obtain a smooth surface. In the whole creating process, the most non-trivial step is the second step. There may be some questions like, how can we characterize the embedded shapes? Or how can we calculate the shapes with Julia? So let's start with some Julia script. Okay. Oops. By copy and paste uh, the script, uh, we can try the script. Um, Oops. Uh, okay. Uh, first, define the uh, shape of the target surface. Uh, second, define the domains of the strips uh, like this. Uh, we need to only calculate uh, these ten strips because uh, the target uh, surface has four pole symmetry. And the next function calculates the embeddings of strips uh, automatically. And the last function exports the parabola, uh, the strips uh, with SVG format. And the exported files are uh, like this. Uh, we have uh, 10 files which represents the uh, embeddings. Okay. Uh, let, uh, the next section is about uh, about formulation framework. Our framework consists of two parts, uh, modeling part and numerical methods part. The thickness of paper material is thin, so the 3D medium can be approximated with 2D surface. This surface is called, uh, uh, this strip is called uh, reference state M0, and the embedded shape is called current state MT. Um, the mapping is denoted uh, to phi. The mapping phi uh, can be regarded as elastic deformation. We assume two properties in elasticity. Uh, first is Fuchs law. Uh, and the stress is proportional to strain. There are two types of deformation, in-plane deformation and out-plane deformation. The thickness of paper material is thin, so the energy of the latter can be ignored. So let's answer the first question. How can we characterize the embedded shape? We characterize the shape MT by minimizing the elastic energy W of the embedding phi. So this is the our concept of elastic surface embedding. This energy minimization problem is the, uh, the following big form PDE. And the unknown function is Xi, uh, which represents the uh, coordinates of the current state. We use uh, three tools to solve the uh, PDE, uh, bispline manifold, uh, galaxy method, and the Russell method. With bispline, the unknown mapping Xt can be approximated by bispline basis function and its coefficient. Uh, by using galaxy method, the uh, PDE can be discretized into a non-linear uh, equation like this. And the newton raphson method can be used to solve the you know, linear equation. Let's dive into more topics on the Vivian theory. The output of the function was like this. So in the level, uh, we have some uh, three structures like this. Um, OK. Uh, in initial, uh, this 15th step is the initial state of this domain. And each uh, each uh, each line uh, represents uh, each step, and 
it, uh, it corresponds to uh, embedded shape and strain distribution like this. And the next step is neutron Raphson method. Uh, this method uh, relaxes the strain distribution and shape uh, neutron Raphson method again. And the next step is refinement. Uh, this operation does not change the uh, shape, but increases the number of control points. And this helps for more accuracy of the embedding. And neutron Raphson method again and again, and finishes the computation of the embedding. The most, myster the most mysterious part in the process is the determination of the initial shape. We obtained almost the same shape as in the, uh, in the uh, in initial shape as in the final step. Um, to co create this uh, shape, uh, we used the next theorem. The, uh, the statement of the theorem is a little wrong, but keys are just the points. First uh, is uh, the mapping phi is almost, uh, almost asymmetric, especially on the center curve uh, of the strip. And the geodesic curvatures of these curves are almost equal. By using these properties, the embedded shape MT can be approximated by uh, uh, approximated and can be used as the initial shape of the Newton Russell method. We had uh, 10 strips in probability example, but was it enough or can we decrease the number of strips? If the breadth of the strips is large, uh, the strain in the medium will increase and the uh, causes non-smooth surface model. If the breadth is small, uh, the number of uh, strips will increase and the assembly process will be hard. So identifying optimal breadth is essential to obtain a smooth surface. Uh, again, a theorem is useful here. This theorem uh, approximates the strain in the medium. Uh, by using this formula, we can find the optimal breadth of the strip in the practice, the show strain function can be used to calculate the strain based on the formula. So it could be the, uh, this, fun this function and oops. Sorry, I can't find some mask also. <laughs> oops, uh, it shows the uh, predicted strain like this, and uh, these um, strains less than eight are the less than 1%, so it should be okay. Uh, I will show some examples. Oh, sorry. Uh, paraboloid and hyperbolic paraboloid, and uh, this, uh, sorry, uh, this, uh, I'll show these uh, uh, results. Uh, the paraboloid is the most simple one that I have already shown. Um, hyperbolic paraboloid is like this. Uh, if I plot uh, this uh, surface like this, uh, we can feel straight, straight lines uh, in the surface. Um, the uh, catenoid and the helicoid can be parameterized uh, like this. Uh, the most interesting thing is it can be deformed uh, like this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I don't have enough time now. <laughs> And uh, this is a, a sphere uh, with uh, uh, stereographic projection. And if we light, light uh, this model like this, uh, we can find our uh, points uh, on the floor. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, uh, thank you for uh, listening. Uh, that's all for my slides. Uh, thank you to the Juliacon, uh, Julia, o, Julia X system because the following package helps this project a lot. Um, I have some special guests for you. Um, we've been kids of this uh, curved surface model. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>